This is Vaughn Clement. This is A1 Vehicle Auction uh, Directory. And this is both on the iPad and companion app for the Mac or PC. I'm going to take you through the first section, the auction auto show scheduling. You can use this icon to access the program. The purpose of this app is to provide a scheduling tool and management for uh, bids and auctions. In addition to that, it allows you to track the auctions or and or auto shows that you're going to and capture information in different screens. For example, a schedule, a bid sheet, and bid data for the actual item you want to bid on. There's also directions and weather that's going to happen during the show time that where you're going. There's an event portal, a bids list where you can pick the items that you want to bid on in an auction. You also have a data portal where you can take information about the vehicle that you're looking at purchasing and a picture portal of pictures that you capture using your iPad. And then there's a photo library where you can add additional photos. Uh, in this particular case, up here you can see where there's a the show that I'm going to. And you can pick a, a vehicle from that show as one of the favorites for that show. And these are shows that currently are either scheduled or passed. In this case, this is a sample. And if you want to see more detail on any one of them, you click the icon at the end of the row, and it gives you detail information. And you can keep notes. You can also track uh, who is in the event and what the cost for all the tickets would be to summarize the, the cost to your show. You can also open the URL for the actual site that you're going to. In addition to that, there are directions. If you added uh, indir address information, it will show you exactly where the show is at and give you directions if you want to get directions to, to the uh, location where the show or and or auction are going to be. And as I said before, there's a weather page that comes off the internet where you can check the current weather for the show so you know what it's going to be like when you get there. If you want to get support, you can see here that this will pop up the support site. In this case, there's a new website that you can click on that will take you to the new support site. Now back to the map and the weather. You can go back to the main page and pick any one of these icons to go to that part of the app. In this case, we were in the schedule, we were at the home. Let's go to the bid select. In the bid select, this includes obviously the show you're at and a list of the items that you may want to bid on. In this particular case, there are two vehicles in there in the auction, and this was for Barrett Jackson. If I click on the if I click on the icon at the end of the row, it'll give the detailed information about the vehicle that we're looking at. And as you can see in here, you can take some time. You can see what the winning bid was, what your essential bid would be. And if you wanted to say win or lost the bid, you can tell that. This is a scrolling portal, so you can add images. These images, though, do have one limit on the iPad. They have to be 200 kilobytes or less. If you want to see the blown up, blown up view of this, you would click this icon. It would take you to it. Over here, there's vehicle detail information. For example, if you're walking around in the show and you see the seller, you can ask questions and add them on your iPad. And that would give you detail information about the vehicle where you can make a bid or no bid decision. Let's go back to Maine. Back on the main, I can look at the uh, bid list table. Now on the bid list table, this takes you quickly to a list of vehicles you're interested in. And you can click on the sheet to see that particular vehicle that you're interested in. Going back to main. The data portal is a more detailed description where it breaks it out in uh, easy to read scrollable fields in case there's a lot of uh, text in that particular field. The picture portal is a blow up screen where it shows the item that you're thinking of bidding on and pictures that you may have taken in a larger view. And this it says it must be under 400 kilobytes, but it's actually recommended that 200 kilobytes or less. 
it's best to pare your screen uh, images down either on another program or on the iPad. Going back to the main again, the photo library is an additional place where you can pick up images of the vehicles that you're not going to bid on. So you can use this as an all others kind of a situation and then put the description of the vehicle. And this is more of an archive for interesting vehicles that you looked at that you're not concerned about bidding on. Or if you're just in an auto show and you're not bidding at all, this is where you would keep all the information about that particular vehicle. Okay, back to the home screen. The next section that we'll be talking about is automotive directory in the next part in part two.